If you look at American politics and think everything is fine, this video is not for you. To the rest of us, things seem pretty broken. I mean, our forefathers created a beautiful system and we live in a magical country. How the hell did things get so bad? These days, just 2% of Americans trust that our elections work how they're supposed to. Congress has an approval rating of 20%. Our leaders are locked in partisan warfare and they aren't fixing anything. And we're angry. We're angry at the system, at each other. Our country is getting poorer, sicker, more divided, and our families are paying the price. We don't even talk to each other anymore. America's political system has been hijacked to ensure those with power keep it. And for the rest of us, well, it's not so good. This Venn diagram shows the relationship between an elected official doing what the people want and their likelihood of getting reelected. Ideally, they'd serve the people and have a high likelihood of reelection. But a recent Harvard Business School report by Professor Michael Porter and Catherine Gale show that the relationship looks more like this. They found virtually no correlation between serving the will of the people and getting reelected. In other words, if our elected leaders do their jobs, they're more likely to lose their jobs. How is that possible? The report blames it on two privately held gain-seeking organizations, America's two major political parties. In 2019, both major parties publicly threatened to blacklist candidates and contractors who veered from the party lines. They control the money, the debates, the primaries. They even draw their own voting districts. A full 61% of Americans want another option. But any third party or independent who runs is seen as a spoiler. So year after year, we choose between the lesser of two evils, Democrats, Republicans, Republicans, Democrats, in, in any other environment, a new competitor would swoop in to better serve their constituency. You hate your cable company? Here comes streaming. But the two parties have rigged the system to block competition. But it gets worse. In 86% of House races, we now know which party will win the general election before it even starts. That means all of the competition is in the primaries, where as few as 14% of voters participate. And primary voters tend to be more partisan than those who vote in the general election. So the most partisan candidates win the primary, they're virtually guaranteed to win the general, so you can guess what happens next. Over time, the parties move further and further apart. This graphic, shows members of Congress who worked for the other party to pass a law in 1953. The gray lines represent their collaboration. The more lines you see, the more times they crossed party lines to pass a law. This is how it looked in uh, 67, in 81. Look what happened in 1995, and by 2011, it represents where we are today. Hardliners are rewarded, collaboration is vilified. Congress is so gridlocked, they can't even pass the most basic laws to improve the lives of everyday Americans. For the first time since the Great Depression, life expectancy in the U.S. is actually going down while it goes up in the rest of the world. We were once ranked top in the world for education. We fall into 27th. We can't afford life-saving prescriptions and medical bills are forcing families into bankruptcy. Almost half of American families can't even afford basic necessities like rent and food. What I wanna know is how do we fix it?